The sun was setting on what had been a quiet day in the small town of Oak Ridge. As the shadows of the evening began to creep across the town, a faint sound of a police siren could be heard in the distance. Officer David Smith was on his way to the home of the Roberts family. The Roberts family had reached out to the police earlier that day to report a missing heirloom. The heirloom was a necklace that had been passed down through the family for generations. It had been reported stolen and the fam. ILY was desperate to get it back. Officer Smith had been assigned to the case and he was determined to get to the bottom of it. When Officer Smith arrived at the Roberts family home, he was greeted by Mrs. Roberts. She explained to him that the necklace had been missing for weeks and that she was very worried. She had searched the entire house but there was no sign of the necklace. She was certain that it had been stolen, Mrs. Roberts then introduced Officer Smith to her son, Jason. Jason was a 16-year-old boy who had grown up in the house. He was very fond of the necklace and he was devastated to hear that it had gone missing. Officer Smith asked Jason if he had any idea who might have taken the necklace. Jason told them that he had recently been in a fight with a boy from school named Billy. He said that Billy had been jealous of him and had threatened to take the necklace if he ever got the chance. Officer Smith thanked Jason for his information and decided to pay a visit to Billy's house. Shay. When he arrived at the house, he was met by Billy's mother. She told him that Billy had been in trouble with the police before and that she was certain he was involved in the theft. Officer Smith asked if he could search the house and Mrs. Roberts reluctantly agreed. He searched the house but there was no sign of the necklace. He then asked if he could question Billy. Mrs. Roberts agreed and Billy was brought to the living room. Officer Smith asked Billy if he had taken the necklace. Billy Den. I.E.D. it but he seemed nervous. He said that he knew nothing about the necklace but Officer Smith could tell he was lying. He asked if he could search Billy's room and Mrs. Roberts agreed. When Officer Smith entered Billy's room, he saw the necklace lying on the bed. It was obvious that Billy had taken it. Officer Smith thanked Mrs. Roberts for her cooperation and took Billy into custody. The following day, Officer Smith returned the necklace to the Roberts family. They were very relieved to have it. Back and thanked Officer Smith for his help. Officer Smith was glad that he had been able to solve the case and return the necklace to its rightful owners. He was proud of his work and it was a reminder that justice can prevail even in the smallest of towns.